Welcome to the fourth part of the Building a Newtonation series. In the first three videos, I spoke on how Utu philosophy offers a path towards redemption for Kenya. I spoke on the state of Kenya today as I see it. And I spoke on what a Utu inspired governance could look like. Today, we'll delve into how the philosophy of Utu can revolutionize the Kenyan society. So join us as we explore the transformative potential of Utu in creating a more cohesive and inclusive Kenyan society. Karibuni. At the heart of Utu is social cohesion. The idea that our individual well-being is intrinsically linked to the well-being of our communities. Its philosophy fosters mutual support, empathy, and a sense of shared destiny. Some expressions used when discussing Utu philosophy include I am because we are, do unto others as you would wish done unto you, a child belongs to the village. In a nation as diverse as Kenya, Utu offers a path to bridge the ethnic and cultural divides that have plagued us for decades. It encourages understanding and respect for different backgrounds and traditions creating a tapestry of unity in diversity. Utu philosophy can be the foundation upon which Kenya finally becomes a nation. Because you're not, you're not a nation, you're just a country. Utu advocates for community-based problem solving. This approach involves collective efforts in addressing societal issues where solutions are sought within the community, harnessing local knowledge and resources, because as the saying goes, is the one who lives in, a, in the house who knows where the roof leaks, or it's the one who wears the shoe who knows where it pinches. After all, all politics is local. Incorporating Utu in society means strengthening community bonds. It's about creating spaces where people can come together, whether in local gatherings, cultural events, or communal projects, to foster a sense of belonging and cooperation. This is very common in our rural areas. Utu philosophy also calls for addressing of societal inequalities and inequities. The philosophy recognizes the importance of providing support to the most vulnerable members of our society, a more caring society, ensuring that no one is left behind in the quest for social advancement, as is the case today. Education also plays a pivotal role in embedding the principles of Utu society. Schools and institutions can incorporate lessons on values such as empathy, community involvement, and mutual respect, laying the foundation for society that lives and thrives by these values. But Mwandia talks about this all the time. The application of Utu philosophy is vital in both urban and rural settings. In the urban areas, for example, uh, the philosophy encourages community building amidst the anonymity of modern society, while in rural areas, it strengthens the existing tradition of bonds of kinship and mutual assistance, leveraging our traditions and fostering a supportive network across all facets of Kenyan society. It is about inclusivity and respect for all, regardless of background or status. It challenges the societal norms, modern ones, that are foster division and individualism, promoting a culture where every individual is valued and differences are seen as strengths rather than dividing rights. I firmly believe that embracing Utu in reorganizing our society offers a path to a more unified and resilient nation. It's about rekindling a sense of community and shared responsibility that has always been integral in our traditional African societies, but has been lately getting lost, where every individual contributes to the common good. This philosophy holds the key to a society that begins to solve the challenges of modernity that you're facing, not only to build a prosperous society, but one that is also compassionate and harmonious. I believe Utu can start fixing our governance challenges. In the next video, we will look at how Utu philosophy can be applied in business. Till then, thank you for watching. Asante sana and kwaheri. See you soon.